Hey guys, this is Mr. O'Brien here. And in this video, we're going to explain how factors such as pH, temperature, and concentration levels can affect enzyme functions. Now, what we need to remember is that enzymes, okay, what they do is they speed up reactions. So they speed up reactions by, you know, allowing all of the parts to kind of interact in an orderly manner. But there's other things that speed up a chemical reaction, such as temperature, things like that. And then there are also things like pH, temperature, and concentration that are going to affect the enzyme function. So if we look here, we'll notice that pH only works at a very specific range. As we go lower or more acidic, the reaction rate decreases. As we become more basic, it decreases as well. The same thing with temperature. There's a very specific temperature that's going to work. If we go too high, it denatures. If we go too low, the reaction slows down. And the same thing with substrate concentration. The more substrate or the more uh, things that are doing the chemical reaction, as they increase, eventually they get to a point where the enzymes can't manage them fast enough and kind of steady off. So let's kind of talk about each one of these a little more in depth. Now, pH is just simply a measure of the hydrogen ion concentration in the solution. So if we look, neutral is 7. Okay, so that would be like water. As we increase in pH, we become what's known as more basic. Okay, basic things are things like liquid drain cleaner, bleaches, oven cleaner. Okay, and then if we go the other way, if we go lower than 7, we become more acidic. Okay, so that would be things like battery acid, hydrochloric acid, things along those lines. So solutions with high concentrations of H plus ions have a low pH, more acidic. Okay, solutions with low concentrations of H plus ions have a high pH or are basic. Now, both very basic and very acidic things are both very harmful to you and me. Now, the pH scale is a measure of acidity or how basic a solution is. Acids, we're going to highlight, uh, highlight those in red. Acids have a pH that is less than 7. So anything from just below 7 all the way to 0 are acidic things. Okay. Now, basic things are anything that has a pH above 7. So let's go with yellow here. So anything from 7 to 14 are considered basic solutions. So in this scenario, again, as we are shifting away from 7, 7 is just neutral. So again, 7 is pure water and has a pH of 7. Now, pH measures acidity, and enzyme function works best at the optimal pH. So what you see here are three different enzymes, pepsin, which occurs in your stomach, amylase, which is in your saliva, and arginase, which is in your liver. What you'll see is that enzymes have a different optimal pH depending on the part of the body they are found. So, for example, the optimal pH of pepsin, which is found in the stomach, is probably around a pH of 3, very acidic. Okay, so that makes sense because uh, pepsin is found in stomach acid. Now, the next one we have is amylase. Now, amylase is probably around, let's just say, 7.5. So, amylase is found in our saliva, which is a neutral substance. Finally, we have arginase. Arginase probably is found at a pH of 12. Again, this is a basic solution. So, you'll notice, depending on where it is found, depends on what their optimal pH is. So if concentrations are too acidic or too basic, the enzymes may begin to denature. So as we start to drift away from the optimal pH, the enzyme most likely is going to change shape and not work properly. So this is why they say enzymes work best at a very specific pH. 
Now, temperature is a measure of kinetic energy. How much energy does the solution have? So kinetic energy is energy that is in motion. The higher temperature means that the molecules are moving faster. So think about this dot as a molecule. In cold temperatures, the molecule is going to move very slowly and bounce off the container and move around. Now, as we start to increase temperature, it starts to move faster. The, more, the faster it's moving, the more interactions it can have with other molecules. If we increase faster, again, it's moving faster. Again, slow, low temperature moves slower. So the number of collisions between enzymes and sub in substrates is increased if the particles move around faster. Okay, enzymes do not function well above or below that optimal pH. So if this is the optimal pH right, or optimal temperature right here, if we start to decrease away from that, it doesn't work as well. If we start to increase away from that, the enzyme will most likely get destroyed because the proteins will begin to break down or denature. The optimal or best pH is a very narrow range. So enzymes denature or break down if the enzyme gets too hot. So if we are increasing temperatures, the proteins break down. And if they break down and they change shape, they're not going to be able to function properly. Now concentration is another thing that's going to affect an enzyme. Concentration is just simply a measure of how many substrate molecules are present in a given volume. So we eventually will reach a point called the point of saturation. The point of saturation is the concentration where the reaction rate is maximized. So in other words, if I have, let's just say, three enzymes here, and these three enzymes are working as hard as they can to break down the substrate that's present. Okay, so obviously if I have three, it's going to work very rapidly. Each one's going to find one. But if I start to increase the amount of substrate that we have here, eventually we're going to reach a point where these enzymes aren't going to be able to break these down fast enough. And they're only going to break them down fast enough as much as the chemical reaction can occur. So again, the point of saturation is the concentration where the reaction uh, rate is max maximized. The active sites of the enzymes are all used. Adding more substrate does not increase the rate of reaction. So in other words, there's not enough sites for the chemical reaction to occur. So remember, temperature, pH, and concentration can all affect the rate of enzymes. Remember, if it's too hot or too cold away from the optimal pH, the enzyme won't function properly. If it gets too hot, it will actually denature and break down. The same thing with pH. Too acidic, too basic, not going to function properly. And it could eventually uh, denature it. When we're talking about concentration, there comes a point where the reaction is completely saturated and can't occur any faster. So hopefully this helps you out with uh, things that affect enzyme rate. Again, this is part five of your topic two organic chemistry chapter. This is Mr. O'Brien signing off.